How much fibre do you eat daily? It's likely that you're not getting enough. Our average intake in the UK is 18 grams a day, a lot less than the recommended 30 grams. In comparison, some tribes in the world eat up to 100 grams of fibre every day. But what exactly is fibre? Fibre is a non-digestible part of plants such as fruits, vegetables and pulses. It is not absorbed by your body but simply goes through your digestive tract. Various types of fibre can be found in food, such as pectin in apples and pears, and arabinogalactins in leeks and radishes. So what does fibre actually do? The main function of fibre is to bulk and soften the stools. Prebiotic fibre, such as FOS, also acts as a fertiliser for your beneficial gut bacteria and prevent the growth of pathogens. As good gut bacteria thrive on fibre, they also produce lots of useful molecules such as butyrate, which helps reduce inflammation, maintain the structure of the gut lining and supports immunity. Fibre can also support weight loss by increasing satiety and reducing insulin and blood glucose levels. Another way fibre can support your health is by binding to hormones in your gut after they have been detoxified by the liver. This is a case of the fibres GOS and ilunin, for example. This is why it's so important to increase your fibre intake for conditions such as endometriosis and fibroids. But getting enough fibre in your diet is not always easy. So here are a few tips to help you achieve this. An easy change you can implement is swapping your white carbohydrates for whole grain alternatives, which naturally contains more fibre and more nutrients. You can also add a few handful of green vegetables to your stews, soups or curries. And why not add grated apples and carrots to your porridge, for example? Or if you prefer savoury breakfast, make sure you have a handful of greens with your egg on toast. You can also use a fibre supplement, which can easily be added to your soups or smoothies, or just simply sprinkled on food. Some people might avoid fibre because of a sensitive gut. The trick here is to make sure that you slowly increase your fibre intake to allow your digestive system to adjust. Now that you know more about fibre, I really hope that you're ready to make fibre your best friend. If you have any questions, give us a call or comment below.